Hi, my name is Peter Walker. I'm a counselor and clinical supervisor. This brief reflection is entitled Selfish Apology. Uh, now, this isn't a, a new concept, but sometimes it's important to clarify again in our minds um, that this is a reality. Um, to listen to, to make space for someone who has wronged you, to apologize to you, is a real gift. Uh, it's it's a it's a gift on your part um, to someone, and it is not a gift that you necessarily need to give if you're not ready to give, or maybe ever. Um, it is not the prerogative or the right of an aggressor or someone who has done wrong to someone to uh, have the um, opportunity to apologize. And that is a, it is a great luxury to be able to apologize to people. Um, people can still be forgiven uh, by you and even by God. Uh, but uh, they, they do not need to, uh, in order to access those things, they, they, they do not need to um, be able to apologize in person to you, uh, nor is it uh, nor is it their privilege. It's actually not the prerogative of one to be forgiven by others. So um, uh, there are times when someone might uh, have hurt you or wronged you and they are looking for an opportunity to apologize to you and you are not ready and you do not feel comfortable nor do you think you maybe ever will and you feel this guilt because surely if someone wants to apologize I, I should allow that but this person upset me and I don't know how I feel don't feel guilty um, it, it's it's not it's not your issue um, you do not need to allow for that space um, uh, I, I love that lyric um, Michael Jackson song man in the mirror he says I've been a victim of a selfish kind of love. Um, there are times people are looking to apologize and it is not about you. If it were about you, they would read a mile off that uh, you're uncomfortable with this and if they truly were contrite and wanted to give you the gift and it was about you, they would not push uh, to see and apologize when they understand you, you don't wish for that. Um, so it can feel or they could say this is a type of love but it's a selfish kind of love um, and you don't need to play ball. Interestingly in Matthew 5 Jesus says if you are offering a, a gift at the altar and there you remember that your brother has something against you uh, uh, that basically your brother it, it implies uh, is you know needs or maybe is looking for the reconciliation Go and be reconciled. Go and, uh, you know, make that apology or, or do what you need to do. It's, it's, it's speaking to someone who has done some wrong and, 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 and needs to make an effort to make amends. Um, you, the wronged party, um, don't carry uh, guilt if 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 someone is seeking to apologize and you don't feel that that will help heal you in fact it might further um, might be a type of assault on a wound that you're dealing with uh, you are not lesser of a person uh, you do not need to feel bad um, it is not unvirtuous to deny that person an opportunity to apologize